What's going on guys, Alan Dramilla here. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the fear of missing out, how to get over FOMO, okay? This is something that a lot of college students I see struggle with. This is something that adults struggle with. You know, when you're, when you're associated with a lot of people who surround you with temptations, okay? This is something that everyone struggles with, okay? Uh, even I, to this day, haven't overcome it completely, but I'm here to educate you guys on how I've, you know, pretty much coped with FOMO and how to get over it, okay? Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you guys give it a thumbs up for me. It would let me know that if you guys, like, actually enjoyed it and everything like that. And if you guys want to, you know, see more videos like this, fitness, motivation, workouts, nutritional tips, and stuff like that, please subscribe to the channel. I promise I won't disappoint you guys. And another thing is the fact that, I'm going to keep this raw, by the way. If you guys would share this video, that would mean even more because I don't have a big audience right now, and that's completely okay with me. But... If you guys share the video, it will help me reach more people, and it's not like for me to get popularity, okay? That's not the point of this. The point of this is to educate people like, and try and help them get through their problems, okay? I've struggled with this my whole entire high school career, and like, it was such a setback for me. And if I figured it out a lot earlier that there really is nothing that you're missing out, it's... I would have been so much further. So my goal is to try and help you guys, influence you guys, to try and get this message through your heads and to just for you guys to realize that you guys really aren't missing out on anything and that nothing should stop you from, you know, setting si setting time aside to accomplish your goals. So let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do to avoid the fear of missing out, okay, major FOMO, is when you stay in, do not look at your Snapchat stories and do not look at your Instagram stories. Why is this important? Because when you guys are sitting there all alone in your room, wherever it may be, maybe you're taking a walk in nature like I am right now, that is the time for you to think, okay? That's the time for you to develop a nice and peaceful mind. That is time for you to focus on yourself and yourself only. Now. If you're sitting there watching Snapchat stories and Instagram stories, you're literally trying to live through your friends and whoever you have on your, your friends list. And why that's so harmful for you is that you just sit there and you feel bad for yourself that you're not there. And it may look really fun because everyone's trying to hype up that it's fun, but they're really just not having a good time either. All right. and. Um, and then that kind of tricks your mind and you're like, wow, I should have went out, I should have done this, I should have done that. And that makes you feel a really, really, really great presence of uh, regret. So you feel regretful that you t tried to be, you know, um, tried to help yourself out and focus on self-improvement and everything like that. And, you know, you regret staying in. And uh, you're like, wow, I shouldn't have done this, I'm not going to do this again. Okay, that's the first thing that you cannot do because... When you're by yourself, you need to focus on you and yourself, your thoughts, everything like that, your goals, uh, set goals for yourselves, everything like that. This is kind of time for you to develop mental clarity in your mind so you know exactly where you want to go and you can think about how you want to get there, okay? So now, now the second thing that you want to do when you are saying no to someone because you, you want to stay in, right? You want to get over the fear of missing out. You have to have great self-realization and you have to realize that in the real world, guys, do you realize how many parties there will be later down the line that are going to be exactly like the party that you're about to skip? Do you have any idea how many of those there are going to be? When I first started to skip out on parties and focus on self-development and everything like that and, you know, read books and educate myself personally, I, the only thing I thought about was, wow, there's going to be like 10 more of these in the next month. If I really want to go to one, I got 10 more to pick. And today is not that day. So I can just shove that out for another day. And that's how you guys have to think. You have to think that there's always going to be more parties. The parties never end, guys. There's always going to be bars. There are always going to be frat parties. There's always going to be all that shit because a lot of people like to do those things. So whenever you get the urge to go out and do that, 
that opportunity will be there for you, okay? Don't worry about missing out on one party just because your friend tells you that the prettiest girls are gonna be there, you know, they're, all your high school friends are gonna be there. Guys, that shit will come around, okay? That's gonna happen again and again and again and again. And if you sit there thinking like, oh, this party's gonna be the one, this party's gonna be the one, and then you get to the party and you're like, wow, this is like kind of stupid, I wish I stayed in and read a book or something like that. That might not be how you guys think now, but hopefully it's how you will think in the near future. So, that's the second thing. Do not, you, the second thing is, you can't think about, so, sorry, got a lot of emotions going on. So, the second thing is that you just can't, you can't think about what you're missing out. You have to realize that there's gonna be a ton of other opportunities where you can drink and get drunk with your friends and have a good time, okay? This one time is not gonna hurt you. Now, three, how to get over the fear of missing out. You have to focus on the mental gain more than what you're losing, okay? What I mean by that, if you stay in and you focus on, I'll use me as an example. If I stay in and I read a nice big article on nutrition, I have, sacrifice time out of my day to read a big article about nutrition and also look up a couple other nutritional videos on YouTube and study that and in your head you will feel so fulfilled that it outweighs the fear of missing out at a party now say if you like cars okay you're a mechanic or whatever you want to stay in because you want to look at car videos, you want to look at how to take apart an engine, an, an engine and other things like that. Or maybe you like dirt bikes and you like to look at dirt bike videos and you want to learn how to take apart a dirt bike. Guys, that mental gain is going to always outweigh that fear of missing out at a party where you just get drunk with your friends and you don't even remember it the weekend after and you're sitting there Monday with regret about everything that you did over the weekend and it's kind of like, wow, I kind of just wasted that. So. Guys, you cannot think about it like that, okay? Take that time when you are in your room by yourself, educate yourself on something that you love. I'm not saying to just do this for, you know, just for the hell of it, just because you wanna say, oh, I'm better than you because I stay in. That's not the point at all. You don't, you're not better than anyone, okay? I'm not better than anyone. No one's better than anyone. Everyone just has their different opinions and the way they wanna take on this thing we call life, okay? And I wanna try and help you guys realize that those parties are always going to be there okay but the opportunity you have to learn something may not be there so that is always going to weigh out the fear of missing out i promise you will feel a great sense of satisfaction when you actually take time out of your day to learn something read a book read a nutritional article if you like fitness learn how the body works everything like that focus on mental clarity and everything so that is that and i want to uh, just capitalize on that Whew, that was a lot to say like an eight minute video, but um, so those are the three tips I have for you guys to get over FOMO. One thing I wanna leave you guys off with, there's always gonna be fucking parties, guys. Don't think for a second that you are missing out on something so fucking important that you have to put your education and your self-wellness behind that, okay? What's gonna happen to you if you do that is that Later down the line, you will, you will, whether you like it or not, you will come to self-realization eventually. You're gonna be sitting in your room, you're gonna be by yourself, and all you're gonna be thinking about is, were those parties really worth it? Were the parties actually worth me giving up all that free time I had on the weekends? You will come to this conclusion, okay? I highly, I highly, you know, I really think that happens to everyone. Everyone has like an epiphany moment where they just think, wow, what did I just do that weekend? That was a complete waste of my time. I should have just stayed in. I should have read a book, watched a documentary, listened to a podcast, listened to an audio book to educate myself and feel more fulfilled about, be, you know, living well, helping my body, helping my mind, um, the spirit and everything like that. When that time comes, guys, you will know that you gotta make a change and you gotta take some time out of your busy weekend to just focus on yourself. And I truly believe that doing that will make you feel a lot happier as a person. Um, I mean, there was the longest time where I'd feel depressed and think I was fucking weird. 
Like I would literally sit in my room and think about like why was I born like this? Why why am I like why don't I like to party like everyone else? Like what the hell is wrong with me? Oftentimes I would literally be like, why can't I just do that? Like why can't I just party and not feel a sense of regret after that weekend? But I found it to actually be a strength to want to, you know, educate myself on something that I love, like fitness and stuff like that. And that's what you guys need to realize that, you know, there's parties are always going to be there, but that time that you get to educate yourself, you will lose that time. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this message came across as very positive. And I'm not telling you guys to completely just, you know, take away your party scene and all that stuff, but maybe just a couple times out of your busy month, take the time, maybe stay inside, read a book, watch a nice documentary and everything like that, and just educate yourself on something that you love. So I want to leave you guys with that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so grateful for everyone who's been supporting this channel. Uh, the last couple videos I've gotten a great response from and I want to just thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It means the absolute fucking world to me. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys on the next one. Okay guys, one more thing. I was just driving and it kind of just came to me and I want to make sure I get my thoughts out before I forget what I said. So, one thing I want to add in is that there may be some older people watching this video and you may be saying, what the hell does this 20 year old think he's fucking talking about? He doesn't know anything, he doesn't know my story, he hasn't been through my life, he hasn't been older. The biggest thing that I see a problem with is that older people find themselves to have a, a bigger ego towards younger kids, right? And then they think that they are better, more qualified in a sense, to not take advice from the younger generation. I constantly see, like, you know, this advice that I'm giving right now applies to older people as well. Some, some older people, they cannot miss one family party. They cannot miss some certain thing that they need to do. Like, they, 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 they're so afraid of missing out on the next big, like, hangout sesh. And they're adults too. And I know people who personally do this. And it takes away from them mentally. And it also takes away from them reaching goals that they can set for themselves. So don't, I constantly see a lot of older people thinking that, you know, the younger generation and stuff like that, like you, 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 like you shouldn't take advice from a younger kid and stuff like that. Guys, it's not about, like we're all equal here, okay? Someone might know something better than you and you can always learn from someone, okay? Um, I found that I've taken, I've definitely learned some things from younger, even younger kids, like really young, that I've just found to be completely life-changing. And you know, I, I've often spoken to adults and then they're like, kind of like brush it off, whatever I'm saying, like, you know, family members. And whatever I say, they kind of just brush off. They're like, what the hell does this kid know, okay? Honestly, I think that's, you're kicking your own self in the butt because you're refusing to learn, okay? When you stop learning, when you stop progressing, you're dead, all right? You're dead. If you don't have something to strive for, you don't have something that you want to learn, you don't ha have something that you want to progress, your confidence will go down. You'll feel a sense of unaccomplishment, and that's where you will go downhill. Uh, that was it guys, I just had that final thought in my head because I figured that a lot of, maybe a lot of older people might see this video and they were, they're gonna think, what the hell does this 20 year old know, I'm older than him, all this stuff. Guys, we're all equal here, I'm not better than anyone and no one's better than me and that's just how it is, okay? We're all equal but we choose to take on life in different ways and I just truly believe that this lesson is something that I want to get across to people to help them realize that you shouldn't fear about missing out on anything, setting yourself back, and you know, not focusing on what's most important to you. Okay, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video again, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up for me, and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you guys so much, I'll see you guys on the next one.